High school girls basketball, 9-1 Harbor Creek facing 7-0 McDowell in a Region 6 showdown. Trojans up 10 early in the third quarter. Defense turning into instant offense. Jessica Hetz coming up with the steal and scores coast to coast. McDowell up 25-13. Huskies respond going nearly the length of the floor and it winds up in the hands of Georgia Weber on the left block as she's able to get the finish. More from Harbor Creek. Four passes without the ball even touching the floor. Samantha Zank with the bucket on the block. It's 25-17 in favor of the Trojans. Laid down to six for McDowell late in the third. Hetz with an impressive up and under move plus the foul. Able to get the bucket to drop. Now tied at 34 in the fourth. Kalen Spano finds Hetz for the basket down low. Trojans back up by two. McDowell trying to hang on, but Zank with a nice transition for the finish. Huskies staying at it, tying the game back up. Meanwhile, Hetz would go for 17 points to lead McDowell on the night, and the Trojans go on to stay perfect with an 8-0 record to open up the season. 46-44 is your final. It's a long season. We've got to keep our energy up and work hard every single day. You know, we make mistakes and we learn from them and we get better. Um, I'm, I'm so proud of how they played tonight and, you know, hope to keep it going. I think it definitely is going to help us, especially in playoffs and, and you know, the rest of the season region play. Just because we're in those close games, we, um, we need to scramble and get our hoops up and get our shots going. And we, it's just a scramble and we got to get it done and we got it done. Out to West County, Aaron Garrity's Fairview girls, home to General McLean. Scoreless in the first, Addie Green finds Hope Garrity, who hits the pull-up jumper. Fairview opening up the game's first two points. More from the Tigers. Green to Bree Height, up and in on the right block. Fairview up by four. She finished with ten points. Tigers on the run. Hope Garrity with the fast break points. She's able to lay it in with the left hand at the other end of the floor. Holly Shreve going baseline for two of her five points on the evening. Finally, Ella Garrity finding hope for the three in the corner. She finished with 20 points to lead all scores, and it's Fairview going on to win this one easily, 51 to 16.